Hey YouTube, welcome to another episode of Market News on Altcoin Picks, where we talk big picture and current events. Today we have positive news and the markets are reflecting that. I see fields of green when I look at coin market cap, so we all can sigh a sigh of relief. Today we are going to talk about the steps that have been taken into aid adoption of our cryptocurrencies as well as possible regulations. First off, I'd like to welcome you all to our Discord where we discuss trade analysis, gems, and other opportunities every day. We have a great and friendly community, and me and the Altcoin Picks team are there every single day. So if you want to be around like other like-minded people, come on in and we would love to have you join us and become part of that conversation. Now moving on to market news. South Korea is looking to re-legalize ICOs. So I see this as more money coming into the markets as well as potential new ideas that can change blockchain as we know it. The more minds that we have at work, the sooner that we'll be able to find the best protocols, dApps, and platforms. Over time, we'll eventually see a shift that will clear away some of the white noise in the crypto space. And by white noise, I mean redundant coins, scams, and vaporware. This is a good thing because we are going to have a more professional, focused, and relevant compa er, company throughout the crypto space. And we want to see more and more new investors that will step into the crypto space for the long-term investment. We see this idea reinforced by the Ripple CEO, who speaks about what it thinks about Bitcoin's longevity. Comparing the cryptocurrency to Napster saying that crypto is a nascent industry, and over time that you'll see a more rational market and behaviors that reflect that. Basically, that means that crypto is just coming into an existence and beginning to display signs of future potential. I am all about rational markets, and the roller coaster ride that we had in the last few months is really making me regret to eating that funnel cake. The Ripple CEO mentioned that there's going to be a bit of a correction along the way where a lot of players in the space that don't actually solve a real problem are going to get washed out. Now, in my eyes, Bitcoin has been the leader of this movement and is being upgraded to provide more use cases, albeit slowly in comparison to other Gen 3 cryptocurrencies boasting a million transactions per second. But only time will tell what sticks and what doesn't. In other news, Bittrex launches fiat trading options after a new banking partnership. So yesterday, it was announced on Bloomberg that there will be a fiat BTC pairing on Bittrex. This is excellent news because it shows that banks are beginning to trust certain cryptocurrencies. Now, they are obviously going to dabble in the shallow end before they jump into the deep end of the crypto space, but that's progress between exchanges and banks, and I think that that's going to influence us in a very positive way. Now, this isn't available for all users yet, but it will be soon. So this can help us as retail investors by allowing us to have an off, on, uh, off and on ramp where we can take profits into fiat currencies instead of being trapped in a crypto to crypto transaction and imagine if like the entire market is going red and we had the ability to leave and then come back into it when the market stabilizes a little bit i just think that's a really great beneficial option for us to find some footing if things are getting a little bit too turbulent so Spain has some new regulations coming aimed at allowing crypto to be regulated and taxed. I guess they want their pie. The draft initiative agreed upon by the majority people's party won the support of all parties present at the House Finance and Public Function Committee meeting on Wednesday. The draft further raises the need for proportionate mechanisms to ensure that all entities implementing the new technology will comply with the information disclosure obligations to the Spanish Treasury and duly file their tax returns. The country will begin the test blockchain in a controlled testing environment to see that systems are in place before they fully adopt the technology. In other regulation news, Coinbase uh, speaks out about regulations saying that these regulations will not come for years. Catherine Wan mentions that, like the internet, there is supposed to be one centralized regulating body, but that never took place, and crypto will just be like the coming of the internet. Because it's so disruptive, it is hard to regulate because it's new. This tech has to be understood by governing bodies to be regulated. So far, it's just moving too quickly for regulations to be adopted on the fly. And if we did see regulations, the space is going so fast that some of these regulations would have already been outdated, like in 2017 with the coming of ICOs. But Basically, there is a lack of understanding uh, of what is allowed and how digital assets are considered under law, either as securities, commodities, properties, or monies, and the regulations are slow to adapt because of the understanding. 
But logically, after these governing bodies begin to grasp what crypto is all about, I hope we will see a logical, relevant, and intelligent regulations come forth. And next we come to Tron. I personally don't hold any of the coin, but I always look for news that is relevant today. Yesterday, they launched their own independent blockchain. Their mainnet, called Odyssey 2.0, is their movement from the Ethereum blockchain onto their own private blockchain. The beta will last most of June, and they are already claiming that their network is 400 times faster than Ethereum. And if their claims match the output, I think that that is very sweet from a technical standpoint. Now as a computer fan, and when I hear about new and interesting things that will be coming out, I get a little excited. If it can be beneficial for us as miners or PC enthusiasts, I definitely like to look at what they have to offer. So Asus, one of my favorite computer parts companies, revealed a Mining Master motherboard, and it's claiming to have up to 20 graphics cards on a single motherboard, and they'll be releasing this in the fall. Now, I mention this because we're using a retail tech instead of commercial tech for mining. And if this makes it more profitable for mining, or if this is just another segue for companies to follow, we'll see more hardware coming out to solidify these companies' investment in crypto, which is, uh, it's indirect, but it's still an investment in crypto. Personally, I think the next step is going to be a dedicated GPU where it's going to be only for mining and it's just going to be extremely efficient, which is fantastic. Now, I wonder what the hash rate is going to be on this thing. Now, let me know what your guess is in the comments. But I know this is nothing serious, but I thought it was an interesting read. And anyways, there is another short and sweet video. We are seeing more and more developments in the markets between countries, banks, and exchanges. So we have lots of good things coming. And it's, so enjoy another green day in the markets and remember to relax and realize what you're putting your money into. I firmly believe that blockchain is the next internet. And in this case, time is on our side. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.